Aloha, this is Dr. Martina, your online sex therapist and sex educator. In this week's video, I would like to share my opinion on the amount of sex that people are having and also on the disconnect that people are experiencing currently in the dating world. I will give you some numbers that will hopefully spark your interest and it will hopefully motivate you to create a change with whatever situation that is going on for you right now. As always, I will also suggest how you can make a difference in your personal life and also how that could influence the life of others, especially here in America. Sex is good. Sex is healthy. Sex is an essential part of our social fabric. And you specifically, and me, should probably have more sex. So when I read that first line in that New York Times article that specifically you should be having more sex, it really got my attention because I totally agree with them. I would like to have more sex. I would like to be connecting emotionally and physically with other human beings. Um, my body needs it, my overall health needs it. I can feel it. There is a sense of loneliness that comes over me. I understand that you may not agree with this or you may not be able to relate to it, but I think we are, America is in the middle of a loneliness epidemic. Let me show you some numbers with this article cited. This, these are numbers from a 2021 social general social survey that was conducted, like I said, in 2021. And they found that 26%, so almost a, a little bit over a fourth of the population, 18 years and older in America, has not had sex in the last 12 months. Now, you may think that's because of the pandemic, but in 2016, it was 23%. And in 2018, it was 23%. So it only went up from 23 to 26% during the pandemic. Now in 2004 and before that, it was 19%. So these numbers are definitely going up and that's going in the wrong direction. Let me give you another number. And that is the number of couples who have had sex once a month or less than that. And in that 2021 survey, that was 50% of the American couples that were falling into that category. And in 1989, that number was 35%. And this is across all demographics. I guess loneliness does not discriminate, does it? Um, now, one demographic that I'm very much familiar with is with the young people because I have them in my practice. I have young people who don't have any sex. And that number is that the 26% in the 2021 survey that indicated how many people were having, did not have sex in the last 12 months, that 26% includes 30% of 30 year olds. So the young people are not having sex. And that number tripled since 2008. Now that is staggering, isn't it? I understand that sex is not the only form of human interaction. I'm also not naive thinking it's the only salvation for loneliness. We're actually not having sex when we're lonely. Um, but sexual intimacy is an integral part of our social well-being. So we really have to look at it as taking care of our emotional and physical health. Just like we do with other activities. We go for walks, we set priorities to exercise, and we need to do the same thing with our sexual activities. We need to give sex a priority. I'm afraid for our society if we're going to have less and less sex. How are we gonna survive this? How are we going to learn how to treat each other with love and kindness and respect? What can we do about it? Well, this is what we can do about it. If you're in a relationship and you're not having sex, I want you to create an intent to change that. You can connect with somebody you love, somebody you are in a partnership with. And if you focus on that, you can change your life. You can be happy and intimate with your lover and partner. Now, some people can help you with that. There are professionals like me who can help you overcome whatever sexual challenges you may have. Create um, a wonderful tool of communication with your partner and help you develop 
an ongoing, frequent sex life filled with love and satisfaction. And let me tell you, it will affect the rest of us if you do that. If you're not in a partnership, which is a lot of us, um, for stated reasons, and you're having difficulty connect with people just like I do, you know, you have to put our phones down. Without the phone, without looking at it, um, you can actually look up and you can smile at a stranger in the eyes. Who knows? Maybe the love of your life has just passed you. You can smile at a person in a grocery store. You know, if you go in a cafe, don't look at your phone. Put it on do not disturb. Remember that sign that you get when you go in a hotel and how good it feels to hang that on the outside of the door, do not disturb? We have lost that. And we did not lose that during the pandemic. We have lost that before. Because in that same survey between 2014 and 2019, um, it indicates that the number of time that we spent with friends decreased during that time between 2014 and 2019 more than it did during the pandemic. So we've been working towards this loneliness for quite a while now and it needs to stop it really needs to stop so have an intent to change it i will join you i will do the same thing because i'm part of this society too and i if i don't bring my phone when i have dinner with friends i don't do that and i don't look at it when i'm sitting with somebody but there's other things I can do. I mean, that do not disturb sign, that would be fabulous. I'm going to do that. And if you need help when you're in a partnership and you really don't know how to have good sex with a partner, you want to fix that, let's do it, you know? We can do that. And if you also need help connecting with somebody during this dating world, I mean, I have a lot of clients right now who are doing the same thing or dealing with the same thing. So contact me. And I help you. All right. Take care of yourself. Be healthy. Be kind. Be loving. And look up. Take care. I'll see you next week.